Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joe Bunn and I'm a DJ in Raleigh, North Carolina. As you can imagine, I love my music. I always have it on whether I'm working, working out, or even just chilling. So I've never really been one of those wearable technology kind of guys, but something about having sunglasses and music, two of my favorite things in one unit kind of intrigued me. So I picked up the Bose Frames Tenor and also the Lucid Light Wayfarers and I decided to give them a test run. So I got the bows first and I wore them on a road trip to the mountains. After charging them up, you do need to install a Bose app to get them to pair up with your phone. As you can see, the glasses themselves are stylish. However, the sides are a little too wide for my personal taste. As for the sound, it's good, but obviously not as good as if you had on a set of headphones or earbuds. That just isn't possible. Nothing is in your ear. When you turn them up loud, others around you can clearly hear what you're listening to, by the way. Of course, you can make and receive calls on them as well, which is really cool. Next arrive the Lucid Lights. Charging them is similar to the Bose with a proprietary cable. However, as soon as you pull them off the charger, they pair up with your phone. I love that feature. Just like the Bose, you can also pick out different lenses, but Lucid has more styles. To me, these glasses simply look better. I mean, check them out. Those wide sides are non-existent here with the lights. The sound is similar to the Bose, and they also have the ability to make and receive calls, use Siri, etc., etc. Another really nice thing I loved about the lights is that they came with this fold flat case, whereas the Bose one is just obnoxiously large and chunky. Both glasses have controls on the arms of the glasses as well. Oh yeah, and for those curious, you can rock out all day with about six to eight hours of playback for a two hour charge. At the end of the day, I think I'm gonna keep the Lucid lights. They're a great way to only have to carry one thing in your pocket, the glasses versus glasses and earbuds. I will say this, if you are a big audiophile and really wanna hear every nuance of the music, these glasses aren't for you. The music sounds okay, but the arms on the glasses are essentially speakers. You can only get so much sound out of something so tiny. I can see them being really great for phone calls, podcasts, and possibly even gaming with the light blocking lenses installed or for when you're hiking or biking and you need to hear your surroundings more. One last thing, the Lucid are $100 less than the Bose, which is a score. So I look better and I save 100 bucks. So that's it guys, my name is Joe Bunn. I hope you enjoyed this side-by-side -side comparison of the Bose Frames Tenor and the Lucid Light Wayfarers. Thanks for watching.